In the world today, there are 1.4 billion people who can't do this. Amazing, isn't it? How something so simple is yet so incredibly difficult. Most people in the developing world rely on one of these, a kerosene lamp. Unfortunately, the quality of light is very poor, barely enough to light the close surrounding area, let alone a room with useful levels of light. The fumes they give off are also a significant cause of respiratory diseases and lung cancer, and they are the leading cause of domestic fires in poorer countries with many resulting in burns victims. Fortunately, technology now provides us with a better option. This is a home solar lighting kit. And what that consists of is a solar panel, which charges a battery, which can then be used to power a light or a power inverter. Now, thanks to mass manufacturing and improvements in technology, a kit like this can be put together for about a hundred US dollars and that's really starting to bring this technology into the affordable mainstream. As well as producing enough light to light up a room, one of the big advantages is using this power inverter, which creates mains electricity. And what that allows you to do is power any small domestic household appliance off it. In this example we have a radio hooked up. But more importantly for the developing world, you can charge mobile phones. For example, in Kenya, there are 17.3 million people with a mobile phone subscription, but only 6 million of them have access to electricity. This nighttime video illustrates the illumination power of one of the systems with several lights installed on the outside of a house. The LED light bulbs used are instant on off and can withstand thousands of switching cycles giving a potential lifetime of over 10 years. We recently installed some trial systems in northern Nigeria. These are being used in rural areas which have no grid electricity supply. The systems provide lighting and mobile phone charging and have been set up in both a church and a domestic house to learn more about usage patterns and benefits. We will be extending field testing into Kenya and Suriname in the coming months, which will help raise local awareness and explore a range of system configurations. We are partnering with local Christian organisations to work through established development projects. Googleplex's aim is to train and set up locally run businesses in each of these countries that will meet the demands of the local market.